Hello, I'm Chris Hernandez. This is The Weekly Report, a look at news from the city of Kansas City, Missouri. In response to requests from the public about access to a CNG station, the city's Fleet Services Division has opened its fifth compressed natural gas station. It's located at 5350 Municipal Avenue. This station is the first city facility to serve both the city fleet and the public. The CNG station will be open 24-7 and accepts major credit cards. Clean Energy Fuels built and will operate the station. It's expected to reduce the city's fuel costs by approximately a quarter million dollars annually. This station will allow residents to have lower fuel costs, cleaner emissions, and the ability to more easily fuel their own CNG vehicles. There is no question that compressed natural gas and other alternative fuels are the wave of the future for every municipality across this country. And it is because people understand both the environmental advantage and frankly the financial advantage of these fuel types. Kansas City's Fleet Services has long been a leader in the use of alternative fuels and was recently named North America's premier government fleet at the North American Green Fleet Awards Forum in Sacramento, California. City employees Damon Hodges, a project manager with Public Works, and Jackie Stock and Janet O'Hagan, both on the sales team for the city's Conventions and Entertainment Facilities Department, were recognized for their outstanding work for the city by winning the Rich Knoll Paysetter Award for December. Janet and I just wanted to say thank you so much for this honor. We really appreciate this, and we truly enjoy and love working for Kansas City, Missouri and representing the Kansas City Convention Center every day. Um, we also wanted to say a thank you to Oscar for being so great to work with and also being so supportive on all projects we bring to him. So thank you very much. Um, I just want to reiterate what she just said. I just want to say thank you to all y'all uh, for this recognition. Uh, to be a servant to the community that you grew up in, like Councilman mentioned earlier, is a great, not, a great honor. But I'd be remiss if I didn't mention that my name may be on it, but the people that work with me, uh, the staff, my construction inspectors, things like that, they give me where I am now. So I want to thank you all. I want to thank my family and friends for coming out and supporting me and uh, <laughs> dealing with me on those days that I probably shouldn't be dealt with. But uh, again, I want to thank my director, Sherry, and my manager, Chad, here. A wife here that's in support of me. And thank you all. Thanks. The Paysetter program recognizes city employees who are skilled in communications, customer service, teamwork, and leadership. The award is named in honor of former assistant city manager Rich Knoll, who served the city for more than 26 years. Now let's check in with some of our city's departments. Hi, I'm Janet O'Hagan with the Kansas City Convention and Entertainment Facilities, bringing you holiday greetings and wishing you a happy new year. January is cold in Kansas City, but it's warming up in Bartle Hall with opportunities to come inside and enjoy many events for all ages. The 2015 Mid-America RV Show rolls into Bartle Hall January 15th through 18th and is the largest consumer show dedicated to the RVing lifestyle and everything associated with it, like traveling and outdoor activities in the Midwest. The RVing enthusiast can check out the newest products and services on the market. Whether you're in the market for a motorhome, custom motor coach, travel trailer, fifth wheel, or camper, you'll find it at the Mid-America RV Show. For additional information, go to gsevents.com. Your outdoor adventures begin. Enjoy four days of boating and outdoor fun at the Kansas City Boat and Sports Show, January 22nd through 25th. Whether you're an avid outdoorsman or just looking for a way to escape winter for the day, this is your show. This annual four-day event turns Bartle Hall into a one-stop marketplace for outdoor fun. For show hours and ticketing information, go to KansasCitySportsShow.com. Join us for the 2015 Royals Fan Fest on Friday, January 30th, and Saturday, January 31st, at the Convention Center's Bartle Hall. The event will feature autograph sessions with current and former Royals, interactive games for fans of all ages, 
main stage programming, and more. A portion of the proceeds will again benefit Royals Charities. For additional information, go to royals.com FamFest. To learn about more events taking place at the Kansas City and Entertainment Facilities, visit kcconvention.com and click on the events calendar or call 816-513-5000. Today we're here to, uh, to dedicate and receive a donation, and it's a paramobile. Another way to describe that would be the opportunity for an individual to play the game of golf uh, in a one-person cart and get into the vertical position for the individuals that have uh, limited mobility, and uh, a cart like this makes things much more possible than they would uh, without that. So the paramobile is a great gift and a donation to our department. Uh, I want to thank Mark Bolin from our department who has helped put all this together and made the arrangements. and. Uh, first person I'm going to bring to the podium uh, is Frank Westmeyer, and Frank is with West Star Foods, he's actually the president uh, of West Star, and he's the sponsor and made all this happen. Frank. Hey, thank you, Mark. Thank you very much. Uh, you know, it's my pleasure just to introduce uh, Anthony Neto here. Anthony is just a fantastic man, and, and we met at a luncheon just a short time ago, and it was a very expensive lunch, but we had a great time. So. Uh, we're glad as West Star Foods and Corner Bakery Cafe to be able to donate a paramobile with, uh, with to Anthony and his group and, and just Stars for Troops and uh, Stand Up and Play Foundation. It's just a fantastic group and we're just uh, glad to be part of that and I'm going to give it to Anthony at this stage. This is actually not a golf cart. It is a wheelchair, uh, FDA wheelchair that we use to play golf. Uh, we go skeet shooting, hunting, fishing. Um, and we do stand-up therapy because um, Stand Up and Play Foundation was founded uh, by myself and a few veterans who uh, saw the need to help get this uh, out of the box thinking equipment out there for us to use. Um, the idea of doing sports sitting is great but we get bed sores from sitting all the time so we decided to take it one step further to the next level, excuse the pun. Um, and that is do it standing up because first of all hitting a golf ball sitting down isn't as you know easy uh, well, it's not easy standing up um, but doing it sitting down you can imagine uh, it takes a lot of the fun and the um, it's a lot more difficult so we're very proud to able to hit a golf ball in a standing position on ease or out the way uh, but we're stopping bone density issues we're preventing uh, bed sores my lungs are expanding not shrinking um, and not only that, it's, it's also bringing families together and growing the game. We come with at least one or two friends um, with our kids. I, could, I was able to become a father again and teach my son how to play, get, play the game of golf instead of you know, staying at home playing Wii Golf maybe. Initially, depending on if you're a high quadriplegic right. and you have hand issues, we've got special gloves with Velcro straps that we actually get you. And we'd be obviously using a, a different form of... And it's literally a small motion that with the Velcro grip, small motion, big effect. But as we get, um, in my case, it took me about almost eight years to hit from one arm to two arms. Um, I was able to now do a pretty respectable uh, drive. Um, we still uh, take the, the lead on the, off the tee box. The problem is I putt like I drive far too far. It's all about fundamentals, that's the great thing about teaching golf in a wheelchair. Um, I've got to stand open to my, my line and uh, hit the ball later. And uh, all I do is I just swing the club you know, around my body and don't try and steer it. There we go, left right. Because I'm doing a bench press right now, you can probably hear the way I'm pressing my voice. This is keeping me in this position, leaning forward. But at the same time, it's also giving me core strength. So I'm actually developing core, which I'll use to go to the bathroom, in and out of the car. So it gives me my mobility back. It's going to take years. But then, hey, who's counting? We're not on the golf course, right? What we do need is, we do need to do that on a daily basis. Because you don't move it, you lose it. Basically what's happening is, you know, when we sit, because everything's paralyzed here, all our digests are, are you know, inner, inner, they just sit on top of each other, and the lungs are, are compressed. 
So lungs are actually shrinking over the years. So we need to expand them, and the only way to do it is by getting that stuff out the way. <laughs> and that's by standing tall. Mm -hmm. You know, you won't get it otherwise. Okay. One nice big one. Come on, let's go for it. Okay. But the smoother the swing, the further it's going to go. Okay? Okay. Keep it there. And that's your target. Throwing the flat stone over the water. Smooth. Oh, oh nice. Yeah. Good yeah. shot, Brian. Five easy strokes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I say, it's all logic in golf. Less yeah. is more. Yeah, I'm, I'm experimenting a little bit right now. Because I want to see the... Yeah. Now, use that left hand to be the bow. So arch that back and give a nice, smooth, big, hard swing with a nice cut. Up, 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 up. Ah. Nice you came out, out, out of the... Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. And there. Feel that? Yeah. That's the position I'm looking forward to a nice big event and uh, I challenge all you other guys out there in corporates, bring a team and uh, you know, follow suit um, as uh, the Corner Bakery have done and uh, you're welcome to join our party. It's, it's a lot of fun. You get a lot more than you give back. Thank you very much. City Hall is decked out for the holidays. Our rotunda is decorated with a huge tree made of poinsettia plants, and a smaller one is located outside the council chamber on the 26th floor. The rotunda structure is so tall that there's actually a ladder set up inside so that the plants can be watered. Also, there's a player piano on loan from Schmidt Music Company, and it's been playing Christmas music for City Hall visitors. That set the stage for a sing-along with the mayor. So I understand we have a very special guest with us today. <laughs> We're in your house, man. <laughs>
If you were at the last city council meeting, we even had a visit from the fairy princess who encouraged residents to visit her at her royal palace, better known as the Kansas City Museum. Princess Holly's tenure as fairy princess marks the return of a Kansas City tradition that goes back to 1935 when she became a regular Christmas season attraction at Klein's department store. And here's some Christmas and New Year's holiday information you should know. City offices and the 311 call center will be closed on Thursday, December 25th and Thursday, January 1st. And curbside trash and recycling collection will be delayed one day, both of those weeks, for some residents. For example, residents who usually have Thursday collection will receive that service on Friday, December 26th and Friday, January 2nd. Residents who usually have Friday collection will receive it on Saturday those weeks. Monday through Wednesday collection will not be affected. In addition, the week following Christmas is a trash amnesty period for the city. During this week, residents may set out up to 15 bags of trash without those extra tags. No hazardous waste, bulky items, or leaf and brush will be collected. And remember, gift wrap goes in the trash, not recycling. For more information about these stories, please log on to kcmo.gov and search for The Weekly Report. That does it for this edition of The Weekly Report. I'm Chris Hernandez. Have a great week.